we're going to draw the Lewis structure for iron 3 fluoride. That's FeF3. Now, iron is a transition metal from the middle of the periodic table, and it can have multiple different charges. So to figure out how many valence electrons we start with, I want you to look at either the name or the formula and be informed by that. This is iron with a plus three charge. And so I want you to draw Fe with one, two, three valence electrons around it. Now, fluorine is a non-metal. It's from the right-hand side of that staircase and it's in group 17, so I want you to draw it with seven valence electrons. There's your F, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the Lewis stop diagram for just a regular fluorine. Now, this is an ionic compound, and I know that because that's a metal and that's a non-metal. And when metals and non-metals combine, they make ionic compounds. There is a transfer of electrons from metal to non-metal. The iron, the metal, is going to want to give away all of its valence electrons. And the fluorine, the non-metal, will want to complete its octet. You know the octet rule. The non-metals want a complete shell of eight valence electrons. So this fluorine, which brought seven, is only one short of stability. It's going to accept one electron from the iron, and now it's a stable fluoride atom. But now, where are the other electrons going to go? Well, the answer is we bring another fluorine into the picture to accept another one of those electrons, one, two, to make that pair, and another fluorine to accept the third and final of iron's electrons. The idea that we need three fluorines to accept all the electrons from this iron three is what makes the formula FeF3. Get it? Now your complete Lewis structure will have Fe written in the center. Don't put any dots around it because it gave away all its valence electrons. But do put square brackets and a plus three charge. That's how we show ions in Lewis structures and the charge shows that it lost three valence electrons. Then I want you to draw fluorine atoms with their seven, oh wait, eight electrons because they accepted one electron each and a minus charge because they have one extra negatively charged electron. Now don't be lazy. Instead, I want you to redraw that fluoride three times. Well, three total, so you're only redrawing it twice, but you know what I mean. Fe, F3. That's the Lewis structure. We did it together. I knew you could. Best of luck.